Let's practice identifying an element from its quantum numbers using the periodic table. This question asks us, what atom has the quantum numbers n equals 3, l equals 1, m sub l equals 0, and m sub s equals negative 1 half? Let's start with the principal quantum number. In this case, n equals 3, and this tells us which energy level our atom is located in. In this case, we are in row 3 of the periodic table. Next, we can look at L equals 1, which tells us which subshell our atom is located in. If L were to equal 0, we would be in the S subshell, but because it equals 1, we are in the P subshell. L equals 1. So we can eliminate sodium and magnesium as options. Next, we can do M sub L equals 0. Each column of the periodic table will help us determine this uh, quantum number. So as we remember, this is what the P subshell looks like. And we're going to fill each orbital separately and then come back and pair up the electrons. So this would be negative 1, 0, and positive 1. So on the periodic table, we have negative 1, 0, positive 1, negative 1, 0, positive 1. And since m sub l is equal to 0, we know we can eliminate all the elements that do not have m sub l equals 0. So we're left with silicon or silicon and chlorine. And now m sub s equals negative 1 half. So what does that tell us? That tells us that our electron is spin down. So as noted back over here, let's redo this. We fill each orbital separately, and those are all spin up. Then we go back and make our partners of electrons, and that is spin down. So since we're filling as we go along, those are spin up, which means our electron is spin down, which is chlorine.